Your Excellency, Mr. Ban Ki-moon, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. The climate crisis is one of the central challenges of the century. Right now, the world is facing an enormous challenge, fighting the COVID pandemic. The challenge is not over, but I'm nevertheless optimistic that this year, 2021, will be a turning point. I'm certain that we will get the pandemic under control. In doing so, we can and we must build back better. The climate crisis, however, is far from over. It won't be over this year or next. Science tells us that what we need to do is to reduce global emissions rapidly to avoid catastrophic changes by the end of the century. And science also tells us that even if we were to stop all emissions right away, temperatures will continue to rise and that we urgently need to adapt. Adaptation to climate change is a central element of ambitious climate policy at the local level, the national level and internationally. I am therefore very grateful to the Netherlands and to the Global Commission on Adaptation for hosting this very important conference to highlight the importance of adaptation to climate change as a core part of global climate ambition. Climate change affects countries and regions in different ways. My own country, Austria, is a mountainous country that used to have cold winters and warm summers. Over the past two decades, average temperatures have risen twice as fast as the global average. We now have mild and often dry winters and hot summers. And this is at a rise of a global average temperature of 1.1 degrees Celsius. Glaciers are melting at a record pace and we are experiencing geological instability in the Alpine regions as well as extreme weather events in lower lying regions affecting agriculture, forestry, health and infrastructure. In 2012, Austria was one of the first countries in the world to develop a national adaptation strategy plus an action plan to respond to these challenges. Today, we are part of a large community of countries that have such strategies in place. All countries and regions are affected by the negative impacts of climate change. And that is why the Paris Agreement establishes a global goal on adaptation. Under the Paris architecture, we are taking action at home and we are supporting partner countries around the world because together we are stronger and more resilient. I'm happy to announce that end of last year, Austria substantially increased its contribution to the Green Climate Fund. We are proud to contribute 100 million euros in fresh money, bringing our total share up to 130 million euros. This is five times more than our contribution to the initial resource mobilization of the Green Climate Fund. In addition, we are also ensuring that our bilateral development cooperation projects take into account climate impact and support the implementation of the SDGs, in particular with respect to adaptation to climate change. We are also looking at new initiatives, such as the Systemic Observation Financing Facility, to support countries to generate and exchange observational data critical for improved climate services. We must urgently step up our adaptation actions around the globe. You can count on Austria in this endeavor. We will continue to actively engage in and support this important issue. Thank you.